Riley Cooper uh, in that video. It surfaced with him using the N-word uh, very emphatically and several times. Uh, obviously, people have moved on from that. But, Stephen A., your reaction to this latest incident? It's incredibly unfortunate because as a former writer and columnist for the Philadelphia Inquirer, knowing Jeffrey Lurie, the owner of the Eagles franchise, knowing several people in that PR department, you know, I wouldn't call them the gold standard like Jeffrey Lurie tried to call them the gold standard years ago in terms of their record. Mm -hmm. But I've known these people for many, many years. And when they say they made a mistake, I believe that part because they deal with a lot of black folks. I don't think anybody should be thinking as an organization they're racist or anything like that. We have to be careful about engaging in that kind of incendiary language. The flip side to it, however, is that to make a mistake like this, to have, you know, Riley Cooper as the face of your franchise on a calendar for Black History Month <laughs> is as egregious Ugh. of an error as it gets. Ugh. And what that, spit, what that says to me, thinking big picture, we can, we, the, the obvious thing is to question the sensitivity of the Eagles organization or the NFL, or, you know, who's in charge of licensing out the, you know, the production part of some of these things. Blame whoever you want. But in the end, what it lends itself towards is really recognizing and appreciating the importance of diversity, not just on a roster, but in the front office. Because if you have black folks that are in decision-making positions that have something to do with how the franchise is projected, somebody black would have picked up on this. Yep. You see, so it just says to me, it makes me question, who the hell do you have up in there? And the person that I'm thinking about right now, you can sit there and say somebody like a Chip Kelly, the head football coach, for example, has nothing to do with this kind of stuff. And that may be true. But the reality is, is that one of the things you hear emanating out of Philadelphia week after week, month after month, year after year now, People tend to feel a bit put off by Chip Kelly. He's about football. They question the personal relationships he's cultivated. They question how he treats certain guys and why he treats certain guys, the way that he treats certain guys. You get rid of Deshaun Jackson, who's an elite, deep threat and could have propelled you to the playoffs, but you keep Raleigh Cooper. I agree. Really? So when you do something like that, it brings about all of these questions. I am not going to sit here. I know several members of the Eagles organization personally and i know that they're not racist mm -hmm. but the fact of the matter is an era like this brings questions like that into the fray yeah if for no other reason your lack of sensitivity because if you you've got to be on top of something like this mm -hmm. somebody i don't care what anybody said you can bring me the most ignorant black person alive and i believe that a black person that saw riley cooper on the cover of a calendar for black history month would have said whoa wait a minute now whoa what is wrong with this well, how you. could this be the case thank you so the fact that it happened they can say it was an honest mistake but in the end and i can't guarantee it but the probability that this mistake was made because you ain't have any black people involved in the process is pretty damn high. Mm -hmm. And that is the and that's why the issue Thank of you. diversity oh, is so important. Thank you. Stephen A. Thank you. As you remember, I have never in my history on this show felt more strongly about an issue than I did about Riley Co uh, Cooper spewing the most evil word in the English language on a viral video. You remember how emotional I got about yep. that. We slightly disagreed on this, but I thought the Eagles should have cut him on the spot to send a message that we will not tolerate anybody in this franchise uttering that word. I still believe to this day that keeping Riley Cooper damaged the psyche of that locker room in deeper ways that aren't easily seen. And I still believe, and we've had Deshaun on the show a couple times, we have not had Michael Vick on the show, but I think both of those men second-guessed themselves because they bought into Riley's apology. You, you, you said he deserved a second chance, yes. and I, I, I get that. 
I just thought you want to talk about egregious, even egregious isn't strong enough a word for using that word in that context. Th this is so inexcusable and unforgivable for that franchise to allow this to slip through the cracks, even though they say we farmed this out to another agency. As you say, who works at that agency? I, I got to know that, number one. Why would you farm to them? And how can you not ultimately be responsible for a product that has your team name on it and your logo on it? You, you, have, you to, have to be. You just you have, have to, to see it before you, it was you, you just you have to. Yeah. You, you have to, to monitor. Agreed. Agreed. You have to yes. sign off on it. Sure. I'm sorry. It's too big a deal. When, when your, your image is being portrayed on a calendar that's going to be sold to hundreds of thousands of millions of people, who knows? It's going to be everywhere, and people are going to hang it up on their wall as their calendar, and you don't double-check it? They say it's an honest mistake. No, it's just a mistake mistake. Period, it's yeah. a period mistake. And I agree with you. Where, where is some black representation at the top of either the franchise or the agency or the National Football League? Somebody somewhere had to backstop this and say, what? You're kidding. Yeah. It, it's so bad. It's it's almost laughable, but I can't laugh about it. It's it's almost like a bad Saturday Night Live routine. Yeah, sure. Like like it, they they could do it, and you might laugh at it. But th this is real life here. This just happened. It's it's beyond bad for this franchise, and I agree with you. It makes you wonder about what's at the top. It makes well, me you wonder bring a little up a bit good more. Point. I, I have a hard time believing they didn't check it. And then yeah. back to what Stephen A. said, who's making the decisions at the top that thought it was okay? Well, I listen, don't know. L listen, like I told you, you know, Chip Kelly and the Philadelphia Eagles organization to some degree has brought this on themselves. Uh, not just because they dropped the ball, not just because this mistake was made, not just because it brings to light the issue of diversity and its importance, but also it reminds you of I'm going to reiterate this. Deshaun Jackson's a bad boy. This brother can ball. If the Philadelphia Eagles at 9-3 and three atop the NFC East had Deshaun Jackson with Macklin back healthy and the rest of those crew, they would have been in the playoffs this year. There's no question in any football aficionado's mind. So when you look at the fact that Deshaun Jackson was let go and, and then think about the stuff that was put out there mm -hmm. about him, I agree. okay, you know, or saying all of this stuff is off the field behavior, so much speculation, and you were willing to tarnish his reputation. Whereas when Riley Cooper made the mistake, although I believe he apologized, he showed contrition, mm -hmm. he deserved a second chance, you still went out of your way as an organization to protect him because you called yourself him going to seek therapy and all of this stuff. Of and he was gone for, for a weekend. weekend. A weekend. weekend. And I then know. the next thing you know, he was back. So what you did was you used it to quell the momentum stirring up against Riley Cooper, but you did everything you could to elevate the momentum against Deshaun Jackson. You when you see something like that happen, and then you couple that with this kind of mistake, all of a sudden, it brings it, it revisits the whole Riley Cooper said to me, he was inebriated, he was drunk at a country music concert in the off season, and so as a result of that, I'm not absolving him. I know he was wrong, but I was I, I, I remember I didn't say he shouldn't have been suspended, but I'm just saying you wanted him off the team, period. My point is we did that, you apologized, suspend yeah. the man, which they didn't, but they should have suspended the man, mm -hmm. then move on. Yeah. They didn't do that, and then this kind of incident comes up. It's really, really bad, and it makes it should make us all yep. look at the Eagles organization and question the issues of diversity as it pertains to them. I'm not saying that they don't yep. have black folks in the organization making decisions. No, I, I they may very well do. I don't know that, but they may very well do. Right. But we need to know that. We need to see that you've got some diversity in there because it appears yep. that you have some diversity issues if you are the Philadelphia yep. Eagles based on what we're talking about. Right. And I'm very uncomfortable with that because Jeffrey Lurie and a lot of guys within this organization I know personally, and I would I never understand. suspect that they would be okay, guilty of such just, things. I don't want to dredge this all back up, but just for the viewers or those here who might not quite remember what happened, Riley Cooper uttered the N-word ending in the hard E-R. And he used it plural. He said, I'll fight all the ends here. Th that's just so over the line for me that I said, you, you can't have him back in your locker room. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on Deshaun Jackson. I said before the year, the reason I picked Dallas to win the division, I told you it was in part by default because Philly no longer has that mm -hmm. bad man that is Deshaun Jackson. Mm -hmm. 
they, they drafted, Chip Kelly thinks he's the smartest man in every room that he walks into. Mm -hmm. They drafted a guy I loved out of my school, Vanderbilt, Jordan Matthews, and he was pretty good this year. But he's, he ain't he ain't no Deshaun, Deshaun now. No. Deshaun changes the game sure. in different ways than Des does. Deshaun's not the biggest, and they had problems with his size. Mm -hmm. But you can't tell me he can't get behind any human trying to cover him in the National well, Football Well, see, you're League. bringing up Deshaun Jackson's prowess as a football player. I'm thinking about how you tried to denigrate him as they a did. person Person. when yeah, you let him they go. Did. You yeah. could you couldn't just let him go. There were rumors you about have games to say because you knew stuff. that everybody's yeah. like, This is a bad boy, a yeah. thousand plus yard receiver. Yep. Why are you doing this? Yes. And all of a sudden we were hearing things about the Sean Jackson yep. coming out in droves. They yep. tried to character assassinate this, this man. They did. And that's under the chip. Kelly era, Thank you. and that needs to be mentioned here. Yeah, because you didn't do that to Riley Cooper. Yeah. Okay. Um, we leave it there. Again, the Eagles say it was not their fault. There was a mistake. Uh, the gentlemen bring up really good points. Hard to ignore that someone at the top didn't catch that, and they didn't check that calendar. I'm sure we'll hear more about this in the coming days. For now, any black people up in there it ain't hard clearly, to imagine. We leave it here. Uh, when we come back, Nelly will join us. Give it up for Nelly, folks. We're live. Festivities. We're in Bryant Park, Celsius Restaurant. Back in just a few moments.